to transfer data from one place to another there can be multiple ways we have seen you know in our vicinity neighborhood some wires or wireless but persistent storage is a way the best way and the most uh, you know known way for example you have a house now you are shifting to some other place you will be transferring your house okay so you will rent a truck you will put your all belongings and then you will go to the other house so in the in the context of communication the persistent storage the common ways to transport data is to write them on a persistent storage or the actual storage like magnetic or solid state storage it can be dvds it can be magnetic tapes and now we are physically transferring the data on the tape and disk to the destination machine i'll give you a idea of calculation i'll not go to the detail this is from the tannenbaum book the famous book on networking so the the idea is that if you want to transfer the data from one place to another to various means for example truck so this is a, the ultrium tape and it can hold 30 terabytes now we would like to transfer say 800 terabytes terabytes means it will be 6400 one byte is 8 bit it becomes 80 6400 terabytes now you can convert it into petabits also 6.4 petabits in united states for example anywhere you want to send some uh, say delivery it will be in 24 hours now this 6.4 petabits have to be transferred say 24 hours day 24 hours is 24 into 16 into 60 seconds now divide this 6400 terabits by the seconds you will get 70 gbps so if you are transferring the data physically through a truck say that will be 70 gbps if the if you just have to go uh, one hour if your destination is one hour it will be 1700 gps unimaginable that is transferring now let us uh, have a very brief calculation of cost effectiveness for example ultrium tape has certain cost what will be the cost of buying it and reusing it let us say it is uh, say 4000 dollars now say 1000 dollar for shipping buying a taking a truck hiring a truck and then so 4000 plus 1000 becomes 5000 so 800 terabytes in 5000 dollars that will be just over half a cent not even a cent just over 0.5 cent and that is very cheap so the cost effectiveness and the transfer rate both is there in terms of persistent storage data communication what is the moral of the story what is the moral of the calculation never underestimate the bandwidth of a station wagon full of tapes hurrying down the highway that is if you have a truck full of data that is much more than any transfer rates this is the example i am showing of amazon snow mobile this is a large truck it has thousands of hard disk that is the persistent storage all are connected through high speed network inside a truck the total capacity of this snow mobile is 100 petabytes that is 10 to the power 5 terabytes or you can call it as 100 million gb you can imagine imagine this what is good only the disadvantage is the delay is poor you see the bandwidth and your cost effectiveness persistent storage excellent but when you take this truck from one place to another the time transmission time and other things are computed in terms of hours and days not in millisecond or microsecond which is in the actual case you see in different transmission media everything is good transmission time is too much